Hi everyone. So today I'm going to discuss about the related list. So what is meant by related list? So the related list appears at the bottom of any particular forms and we show records in tables that have a relationship to the correct record. So what is the meaning of these two lines? So simple. For example, I want to write a record. I want to create one record. So one record is related with the another records. For example, if I'm ready to uh, create one record like incident. So if I'm ready to create one incident, the incident is related to some other uh, uh, what does it mean? So CIs. So a catalog item, so whatever maybe everything is related to this incident. So how can we show that kind of all kind of the related list to the particular incident? So if we are ready to provide, so in a one form, we can show all kind of the related list or not. So is it possible by relationship with, with it? It is possible. Users can view and modify the information in related list based on the current form. Only administrators can configure related list to appear on forms and in hierarchical. So list by configuring a form. So there is a no size limitation for the related list. So now I'm going to ask one question. See, nowadays we are using that each and every form, each and every table is related to the another table. So same as this, if the one record is related to the another record, I want to display other uh, table records on this form. It's possible by using of a related records. For example, I will show that how it will be possible and where is the related list. So this is my personal developer instance. In this personal developer instance, for example, I want to show first of all in incident dot list. So if I'm ready to just uh, type that incident dot list, the table dot capital letters. So L I S T. So now uh, see here, this is a uh, all incidents are appearing in here. So now if I'm ready to click one incident, one record, See, one record is having the multiple record informations on this. For example, see here, for example, here the configuration items are there. So it is now empty. Now we can check it once you see here. So this is another table. So the task SLA is another table. It is showing so records. So related to this record and I, same as is the affected CIs are there. So if the CI is anything affected to the particular incident, so that information, that table records also it is showing. If I'm ready to click on it, so definitely it will show. So that information about the CI, the CI information, so it will uh, show. See here, that table record it has to open. Now, when I'm ready to go with a uh, incident. This incident is con uh, okay, consisting of a many table records like a impacted services, child incidents, incident communication plans, approvers, everything. So a number of things we need to just uh, add. Okay. So now I'm going to ask one question. So how to add it? Okay. It's uh, showing everywhere. Then everything is fine. But how to show, how to create our customer table, our custom table, if I'm right to show here or not. So is it possible or not just um, by to discuss how to do that so simply you can go with this um, above area simply just you can click right click on it and simply you can configure and then you can click on related list so in this related list once you see so all related lists are there but i want to use my own table to show in here so is it available or not once i will check it so batch yeah so no it's not showing that so where it will be how to assign it so now i'm going to uh for that i want to configure some area i want to write some kind of things so now i'll go back now in this relationship you can type that so relationship See here, the system definition, the relationships are there. So simply you can click on that. Okay. So now I want to write a new relationship. I want to form a one new relationship. So now I want to just click on new. If I ready to click on new, so then uh, one form will open. Yes. Give that name. So what does that means? Name of that. So batch yikes so that is my batch table 
so batch yait so table so which table is ready to apply so here that way it should be ready to apply applies to table means on incident i want to see that uh, table my batch yait table i want to see on a incident form like incident table right incident table so incident simply i type that incident then queries from a table which table has to show so batch yait see that batch yait table so where it will be batch yait yes here the batch yait so this table is ready to apply relationship with a so incident table on the incident table it will ready to show yes simply you can click on submit i don't want to give any conditions if you want to give you can give so yes i'm not giving any conditions for that so simply i'll go back to this area and uh, refresh it in an incident form so when i refresh it then i'll go to the right click and then i'll click on that configure and a related list so when i'm ready to click on related list now you can check that batch is there or not yes batch yait table is there so initially is it it was not available right so now it will be available so when i'm ready to just uh, click like this then it will ready to show here so simply you can save you can save it so then the table will appear in this area is it right or not once you check it see here how many informations are how many table how many records are there five records are there see here the five records at automatically it is appearing so this is another table so this table records are showing in this form in a particular area so i want to see all kind of the other table records if we are right to just having any relationship we can keep a relationship between them so in this uh, filter conditions we can apply so which kind of um, related related list has to appear so these kind of the conditions for example here once you check it so here it is a task is equals to this number they given so this is a uh, one filter conditions we have to apply and we can able to check related to this incident form only okay so thank you thank you for watching please subscribe our channel for more information